Hello golfers, welcome to the Kiai Golf Academy's Lessons Like No Other with yours truly, Jamie Leno Zimron, a golf pro like no other, where you are guaranteed to find new insights and drills to swing and score like never before. We're at the spectacular Seven Canyons Golf Resort in Sedona, Arizona, and our topic today is get centered for success. So first, let me put on my black belt. Why? Because a black belt is a great visual for your center, right below your navel. That's the seat of your power. It's also where you need to put your brain right in your belly so that you can play with focus, calm, and expertise, just like a black belt. And I am the golf sensei, a fifth degree Aikido black belt, sports psychologist, and mind body fitness expert. And I'm going to show you how to play golf like a black belt, like a master. Business leaders to top touring pros are using the wisdom of martial arts training. Phil Mickelson credits his martial arts with helping him break through to become a major champion. Annika used the martial arts principles of centering and balance and strengthening her physical and mental game to become one of the greatest women golfers we've ever seen. And Tiger's parents trained a tiger by incorporating Eastern training methods. You're going to join the PGA today, Posture Grip Alignment, and the LPGA love your posture grip alignment. Pay attention and feel good and comfortable. So first, drop a bowling ball right in your belly. What this does is to use the power of gravity, it connects you so you can feel strength and stability in your stance. Now clap your hands. This is the center line of your body connected to your center point. When you put your hands out there in your club, you want to imagine a dotted line from your center point through the shaft, your energy, your mind is flowing down to the golf ball. Flatten your back so you have a nice spinal axis. You don't want to be like this. Centered spinal axis allows you to make that beautiful rotational movement in your golf swing. Now stay rotating here. Don't move off center. When you make contact with the ball right here, you're still centered, you haven't moved. Your head and your chest, your sternum, are on the center line. Now you've got core stability. You want to keep your center in your center, in your belly, not out at the golf ball. You're not out here trying to hit the ball, you're in your center. Now you have peripheral motion that just makes the golf ball fly. Think about a swing set. You need a strong set and then you can let your kid swing. Without a set, you would never put your kid on that, on that swing. Same with your golf swing. Strong set, now we can rotate and swing beautifully through the golf ball. Clap your hands again. This is where you want your hands when you grip the club. Neutral and square. Your hand is like the face of the club. You want it to make square impact, not open and slicing or turn down and hooding the ball. When you place your hands on the club, snug your thumb right into that little groove of your lifeline on your other hand. Close your hands around the club. Ideally, you'll see these two knuckles and these two knuckles. You don't want to see your fingernails or your fingernails or too many knuckles or too many knuckles or out here like this in the beginning. With your hands square at your center, you can take the club away nice and straight, make square impact, and let your hands roll and release through the golf ball. Also pay attention to your grip pressure. No death grip, not too tight. With a strong lower body, you can have relaxed hands and a relaxed upper body. We're on A now, aim and alignment. These two clubs create the target line, the hitting zone. So first, aim your club face, square on the ball, right through that channel. Align your feet, your hips, and your shoulders parallel with the hitting zone, the target line. Now you can take the club back nice and straight, make square contact, extend through with power, focus, accuracy. Your eyes, your head are still looking at the golf ball, so you're centered through the impact zone. Here's a beautiful exercise. Put your hands on your club, inhale up, stretch your spine, rotational movement, hand parallel to the target line, bring your hand to your center, extend right through that channel down the line. Keep your head still, extend your arms, finish up. This is just like a sword cut. You are on line. Your center, your belt buckle are right at your target. Your drives are on the fairway, your irons are on the green, your putts are rolling right down the line to the center of the hole. Remember, we're centering for success. Take a golf stance, folks. Righties, right finger forward, lefties, left finger. Move it back and forth. What's that? You got it, a golf swing. Back swing, hit the ball square, follow through. And write this down. Every shot needs to add up to 100. 50 back, 50 through. Better yet, 45, 55. So you're guaranteed you're accelerating through the golf ball. 
automatically you'll have timing, tempo, rhythm, and sweet centered golf shots. Here's how they add up to 100, 45, 55 through rule looks in putting. Be sure the ball is in the center of your club, and I call it use your shoes. This far back, this far through for a short putt. A little longer putt, a little farther back, and a little farther through, and so on for longer putts, a longer stroke. Meter the size of your swing for the distance of your shot. Keep centered and still, and make smooth, even, accelerating motion. A full swing, shoulder to shoulder. Centered contact at impact, beautiful balance on your follow through. I hope you recall earlier when I said to put your brain down into your belly too, because centering is actually an essential tool to manage your mental game. Face it, we all feel pressure on just about every shot, anywhere from downright fear to utter distraction. I don't know anybody whose mind isn't full of negative self-talk, noisy chatter, and negative expectations. So give this a shot. Try taking all that stuff up here and relax, exhale, settle it down below. You'll be amazed at how you can start to manage the emotional highs and lows that go on on the golf course when you can center your mind and calm your nervous system. No lesson on centering would be complete without the sweet spot. That centered area on the face of your club where you need to line up the ball and make centered contact. So all the energy goes in the golf ball for proper distance and direction. It doesn't reverb back and hurt your body or make the ball spin left and right and hurt your golf scores. It's the heart of the cinnamon roll. It's where you make those yummy shots. They sound good, they feel good, they look good, they look great on your scorecard, and you're a happy golfer. Now, most golfers make centered contact on a random basis. That, those are the shots that keep you coming back, but you complain you're inconsistent. So think about it. One and one is two, right? If you're centered, you make centered swings, you're making centered golf shots. Your percentage of good shots goes way up, your misses are still playable on the fairway, and you are a happy, happy golfer. So promise me and promise yourself you will practice centering for success this week. Sweet results are guaranteed. And tune in next time where we'll discover the secrets of lower body launch power. I want you to play and be your best, just like a black belt out on the golf course. And remember, it's time to swing and score like never before. This is the Golf Sensei. Keep on swinging. Launch the ball. Welcome golfers to the Kiai Golf Academy's Lessons Like No Other with Jamie Leno Zimron, a golf pro like no other. The most common fault of golfers is trying to muscle it and kill it with their arms. Swaying and lifting off the ball, coming down and casting through the downswing and then lifting up past the ball. Whereas all great golfers, tour players, use the power of their lower legs and lower body. Sam Snead practiced barefoot and Jack Nicklaus said golf is played between the arches of your feet. So take your stance, don't just bend your knees, pull your knees in to the center, weight on the insteps, turn that left instep, it'll turn your, your back hip, hip, load up on your back leg. Now push from that back leg like a quarterback or a home run hitter, release through the ball and finish up not by lifting your arms, turn your back toe and your heel, that will turn your hip, hands and club head come flying through with speed and power. So here's your new mantra. Use it all the time. For righties, I am the proud owner of a right instep and knee. Lefties, I'm the proud owner of a left instep and knee. Take it back and launch the ball. Start practicing lower body launch power for stability on your chips, your fairway clubs, all the way to power in your driver. This is Jamie Leno Zimron, the golf sensei. Have a blast launching the golf ball. See you next time.